Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum guys uh, I have a job assignment in East Coast of Malaysia I mean to be specific uh, instead of Terengganu Wow I'm going to be there around one week and it clash with weekend So it means I have several days to explore Terengganu Yeah So let's see what Terengganu will offer to us Stop by for overnight in Kuantan Finally, aku dah arrive dekat uh, Kuantan So, finally, I arrive in Kuantan So, my first stop will be lunch Since I still not having my lunch It's already 4.30 Aku Patin House So, ni dia Aku It's my lunch lah uh, Since the tempoya is already finished so, Aku ambil ni apa? Sambal Finish my lunch But somehow this incomplete without dessert rice right? well known place I want to buy some dessert there so jump okay since uh, the shop is not that far from a coke patin house I decided to walk to the dessert shop and as you can see this is the majestic Menara 118 cantik kan wow This is the shop that I'm going to and as usual Ramai orang beratu Don't waste time that much The queue for the cakes Plus uh, left with uh, mango cake So I guess another time I just want to check in for now And get some rice Panas ni jalan Cantik guys So let's stop for For prayer, for asa prayer. I always known it as a blue mosque, but somehow there is a change. What's the change, guys? Yeah, it become yellow. I mean, the power become yellow. Is it because Sultan Abdullah back to Pahang since he already end his term as a king of Malaysia? It doesn't. Very just yeah. But I don't see. Sultan Ahmad Shah eh? uh, I love this mosque because it's located in the city of Kuantan uh, It's not just a mosque It's like center of activities for Pahang or for Kuantan people specifically Because as you can see, there is a football field in front of the mosque And also actually there is a alarm, you know, night market almost every day Yeah, so it's a, it's a good thing I mean Mosque like the center of everything. So activities, which is actually the function of mosque, not just for place to pray. I'm going to check into my hotel, take some rest, and sunset Pantan from a higher place, which is that one. Hello, assalamualaikum. The reason that I like to stay in this hotel because the room is so freaking spacious, man. It's very spacious, as you can see. Very generous. <laughs> But the TV is still small. I don't know. Let's see the toilet. Huh? See? This is the toilet. This is the shower. And got this big ass mirror again. But the thing about this. Hotel, the wardrobe is an open wardrobe and is in the same place with bathroom. I don't really like the idea of it. But the room is so spacious. And the view is not, it's nothing, nothing much. The view is just the city of Kuantan. So this is a standard room. Uh, for this room, one night I got 150 ringgit, 155 ringgit including breakfast for two. So it's quite a bargain. This hotel name is Katayana Hotel. Uh, but the soundproof is not that good because I can still hear the child, you know, running and making noise outside. Penat. It's a three hour plus drive. So, I need to take some rest. <sighs> okay guys, aku dah beli tiket semua. 
I already bought the ticket uh, going to the tower which is Menara 188 tower uh, but have an issue because I bought online but then after I paid after the payment paid somehow the ticket doesn't pop out uh, but I got an email confirmation of the payment is success so I guess I'll make that as a proof um, when I want to retrieve the ticket at the counter so jom kita excited pula nak naik jadi aku dah beli tiket tapi aku tak sure buka ke tak sebab operation hour dia macam tak clear kat website dia so tengok nampak tu Kuantan sikit punya besar menara Kuantan kita plan nak naik atas ni lah hopefully buka lah eh hopefully so jom kita tengok aku boleh naik ke tak tu oh, dia lift ni kita yang punya so kita naik kita dah naik lah uh, so we are going up to the I'm not sure it's going to observation deck or sky deck penting tu wow tak ada so kan tu lah I think the best time to come here is during sunset because you cannot go during sunrise because it's only open at 10 am so it closed at 10 pm during weekdays and we can even have a stay here until midnight we go here is during sunset so jump this is the observation deck it's a kuantan man cantik kot we got a gallery of Sutta Ahmad stop Okay, so that's it. Uh, sunset at Menara One Double Eight. I think it's one of the best way for you to enjoy Kuantan City, you know, with 360 degree view. But the wind is pretty strong today. Please moderate. But still, terrible moment. Can't take it. It's beautiful, guys. So I highly recommend you guys come here during sunset. Brother gonna rise in the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three. Uh, I'm gonna have some coffee. Some of the art street in one time. Good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Back lane. Uh, basically full with murals. Uh, interesting murals. There's a lot. There's multiple. Teams. Aku tak sure ni real aircon ke ataupun part of the art Interesting concept I guess everywhere I mean around the world with this kind of lane with, with the beautiful murals, interesting murals um, But the best part about this place, the Kuantan punya Because it's very windy I don't know it's going to rain or it is always like this There are like multiple options you know, for you to stay Such as this hotel central Kuantan you also got that site, I think it's uh, Mega View Hotel And also not that far from here Hotel Shahzan which is my favorite hotel if I stay in Kuantan Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day